Hi, good evening. Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, Thank teacher. You, good How evening. are you? Fine, thanks. Excellent, very good. All right, so I have Fer, I have Aide, Hector, Alexandra, Jose Mariano. I don't know what happened. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good How evening. Are How are you? Fine, I'm great. Thank you. What about you? Very well, teacher. Excellent. All right, guys. So we do have normal class. Okay. So until they don't say anything else, we will have classes all week like normal. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Fernando, what's your question? I don't know. Sorry, because I don't know what happened with my with my camera now. I'm oh. To try again. All right, that's okay, Fer. Don't worry about it. It's fine. All right. Hi, Anna. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good I'm evening. fine. I'm great. Thank but you. Talking about my question, teacher. Just yes, so you sir. Know, what is the what is going to be the same the, the next level? Sorry. When is going to be the next level? No, the name is in is, is because we have to send the information. Oh, it's going to be pre avanzado uno. Pre avanzado uno. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, yeah, because you're finishing the intermediate level, so you guys are going to go to the uh, pre avanzados, which are three. And then you have avanzados, with, which are another three. Okay. Thanks. Very good. You're welcome, Fer. All right. Very good. So nice to see you guys. Thank you for uh, Hector and Nana for turning on your cameras. I know that Fer has a problem right now. There he goes. You got it. Very good. What about Aide and Alexander and Javier and everybody else? Come on, guys. I want to see you. <laughs> all right, very good. Remember that this is the last week of this course, all right? So time is flying very, very fast, okay? So thank you, Aide, for turning on your cameras and Javier also. Very nice to see you guys. So how was your long weekend? Did you have a long weekend, guys? Yeah. Yeah? You had a long weekend? Yeah. Very good. Javier, what about you? Did you have a long weekend? Javier, I cannot, I cannot hear you, Javier. I don't know what's going on, but I cannot hear you. I did. Did you have a long weekend? Hello, teacher. Hi, Javier. I can hear you now. Okay. Good. Good evening. Good evening. Did you have a long weekend, Javier? Yes. Excellent. Very nice. Me too. <laughs> Very okay. good. Yeah. And Hector, did you have a long weekend? You have a long yeah, weekend? Yeah, yeah, I have it. Yeah, I have it. But right. I try to, to, to progress in, in the platform. Excellent. <laughs> good student. I like that. Very good. All right. Anna, what about you? Did you have a long weekend? Uh, I'm so late. Yes, teacher. All right. I have a long weekend. Very good. And I, and I made everything. All right, okay, that's good. All right, Ana Gloria, hello, Ana Gloria. How are you today, Ana Gloria? Ana Gloria, can you hear me? <laughs> good evening. Good evening. La extrañamos last Thursday. ¿Qué le pasó? It was so tired. You were and, tired? And I got I, I, I was confused because I didn't um, get in the, in the Thursday, I didn't do the, the exercise oh. of the platform. And so I, 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 don't, I didn't know how I can do, but I, today, in the other day, the, 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 they give me some information. All right. I, it, 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 until middle of day. Okay. Uh, right now I was doing working in that and All I right. did three 
free lesson, yeah. Ah, oh, all right, Ana Gloria, very good. Lesson. Excellent, Ana Gloria, so good for you, yeah, you. excellent, very good. All right, guys, so today we're going to begin section five of your platform, all right? And this is the last week, so we are right on time, okay? I don't know if I um, have any of you. Hi, Claudita. I'm sorry I didn't say hi to you before. Um, I don't know if any of you watched the video on the platform. Do you know what we're talking about tonight, guys? Do you have any idea what's going on tonight? Or no, you haven't All seen it. Not. Say it again, Hector, I'm sorry. For me to see no. <laughs> ah, all right. Well, thank you for being so honest, Hector. That's okay. All right. Anybody else has seen the platform? No, nobody? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Anna. All right. Thank you so much. You're the only one. No, I'm kidding. All right. Very good. Okay. So, guys, today we're going to talk about unreal situations. Okay? So, I want you to um, imagine things. Okay? That... They're not gonna happen, they're only in your imagination, okay? So this is what we're talking about. So right now, I'm gonna show you. Um, I want us to, I'm gonna play the conversation first. Hay un micrófono abierto que hay como mucha interferencia, no sé de quién es, thank you. All right, I'm gonna watch, we're gonna actually um, go over the conversation that is in the platform, all right, and then, I want you to pay attention to what they say, all right? And then I'm going to tell you about what unreal situations are, all right? So this is what we're going to do right now. So just let me go get the um, video that I want us to watch right now about a conversation, okay? Just give me a second here. All right, guys, so here we go. So we have this, all right, we're gonna listen to the conversation. I want you to pay attention, all right? And I want, later we're gonna talk about what unreal conditions or conditionals are, okay? Are we ready? Okay. okay. Yes. Thank yeah. you, all right. Thank you. Part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Dollars, I wouldn't. All right. Okay, so here we have. This is the conversation. All right, this is the beginning of the conversation, and there are two people talking, Phil and Pat. All right, can someone read for me, Phil, and someone read for me, Pat, please? So we can check pronunciation and understanding of this of the conversation. All right, thank you, Fair. Who's gonna be Pat? Hi, Sahida. Hi, um, Jennifer. All right, Gabriela, also welcome. All right, so who's gonna Good be evening, Pat? Teacher. Good evening, Me, teacher. Thank you. All right, so start, guys, please. Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned. He returned and the other simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found 700, uh, 7,000, 
750,000. He returned, sorry, uh, I weren't returning, returned uh, to fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I go out and I start spending. I would buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out, find out about it. And mm -hmm. then you could go to jail. Mm -hmm. You have uh, got a point there. You've got a point there. Very good. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Fair. All right. I need another fill and I need another pot, please. Okay. Yes, thank you. Pat. Uh, You're going to be Pat? Can I be Phil? Sure, yeah. Go ahead. Start. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the, the same conversation, teacher? Yes, the same conversation. Yes. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna start. Look at yeah. this. Some guy found uh, seven seven hundred fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. He returned it, and the owner simply seen uh, him with the phone call. Right. The kidding. Is a is phone a phone? If I found seven seven fifty thousand dollars. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Yes. Uh huh. I wouldn't. But he returned it so fast. Okay. Why? What would you do? Well, it uh, go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Mm. Yeah, you. Got a point there. You've got a point there. Very good. All right, guys. Thank you. Um, let's see. Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I would straight to I would go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Mm, you've got a point there. All right, very good. Do you understand every single word that is on the conversation? Yes. 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 Excellent. All right. Do you want me to repeat or say the, any of the pronunciation again, or you are okay with the pronunciation? I want you to repeat joyería. Jewelry. Jewelry. Sorry? Jewelry. Jewelry. That's right. Yes. Very good. Jewelry. Yeah. Very good. Any, any, anyone else and or anything clothes? else? Clothes. Is correct? Clothes or clothes? Uh, tropa. Uh, clothes. Nice clothes. Nice clothes, yes. Uh huh. All right. Anything else, guys? Thank you. The numbers. Uh huh. No le cuesta el número ese tan grandote. Ah, you laugh because I know. All right. So it's seven hundred. $50,000. That's right, 750000 I know very big numbers in English are very difficult, all right? <laughs> so sometimes we struggle with the money, okay? With the money, with the number, not with the money. Uh, anything else about the conversation? No, we're okay? Rem yes, yes, tell me. Uh, can you repeat the... The, the number? Yes, $750,000. Uh, okay, okay. All right, very good. Okay, now, uh, let me see. I had one more question for you guys here. All right, let's see. What would you guys do? I'm going to stop sharing here. Honestly, let's be honest here, okay? What what would you guys do if you found not seven hundred fifty thousand dollars because that's a lot of money, but if you found a wallet or a bag full of money, 
I'm not telling you how much money. I'm just telling you a bag full of money. What would you do, Sahira? Honestly speaking, Sahira, okay? Solo medio YouTube lo va a oír, pero no se preocupe. We won't tell anybody, all right? Uh huh. What would you do, Sahira, if you found a bag full of money or a wallet? Full Maybe of uh, money? I uh. I could buy a, a, a new uh, house, maybe. Ah, oh, you would buy a new house. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Yes. Very good. All right, Claudita, if you found a bag full of money, what would you do? Claudia, se me congeló del susto. Hello. <laughs> Claudia. Um, I am not sure. Maybe I, I take some... Um, one hundred <laughs> okay. and return and return the rest, maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Claudia, very good. Right, fair. What would you do, fair, if you found a, a bag of full of money, fair? I think if if there's a lot of money, I will I will ask for a reward. Probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> So if, right. if, and if the wallet or purse has documents, probably I I could call to the owner. All right, fair, very good, well, thank you. Asking for a reward, or, uh, always. Of course, <laughs> very nice. All right, Hector, what would you do if you would find, uh, if you would find something like a lot of money, like a lot of, something very expensive or some like a lot of money? Uh, for an experience and family experience, I think that I want it uh, to uh, devolver. I don't know how to you would return it. it. You would return it. Yeah, return it. The the wallet or the the, the backpack because it's necessary. You know, I, I don't know uh, to in order to is gonna use this money. Mm. And yes, I, I I don't have a lot of money, but but I I know that that this person is gonna need it for. Anything, oh, you know? very for good. Example, if you have uh, you for oxygen, uh, uh, for oxygen, or for example. Yeah, for oxygen. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a lot of expense. All yeah, right. So nice. Got it. Oh, nice, Hector. Very good. Navy, what would you do if you found a lot of money, Navy? Mm, I don't want the karma following me, so. The app for me, the app for the people name, search. Okay, uh, all right. So you, you would donate that. it? That, that, that. Ah, all exactly. right, very good. Okay, cool, very nice, fair enough. Javier, uh -huh, Javier. What would you do, Javier, if you found a lot of money? Um, first, I, I uh, will look if... Uh, in the wallet, mm -hmm. there are um, some uh, information okay. about the owner. Right. And, and then I, I, I will return it. Okay, very nice, fair enough. All right, very good. Anybody else wanna tell me what would you do? Volunteers, Alex, Mariano, Jenny, Gabby, Ana Gloria or Ana or Aide, what would you guys do? Me. Honestly, aha, Mariano. Honestly, I will try to find the owner. Okay. Nice. For me, I I I try to call to the owner, but if if we, I could wait if any ask about about that uh, what is it? wallet. Okay. If no, nobody asked for that. That is mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Very good. All right. Someone else. The last one. What would you guys do? Okay, in my case, I try to look at the documents and I review or check the number of the owner. Mm -hmm. Try to turn in, turn in that money. Okay, all right. Okay, very nice. Interesting. Okay, so of course, guys, maybe, I mean, almost like out of 100%, 99%, this is not going to happen to us. All right, we're not gonna find a bag full of money. All right, it's not gonna happen. All right, it's very unlikely to happen. 
So that's why we use unreal situations. To talk about unreal situations or to express unreal situations, we have to use unreal conditionals, all right? What, like, what, what is this unreal conditional thing, all right? We have two sentences in one, all right? First, we have if, all right, you, no, you notice that we say, if I found, all right, so I'm going to use the subject, I mean, if plus the subject plus past simple. If I found the money, all right, comma, I would, buy a house like sahira said all right so on the first part of my sentence i have two i i have two clauses in one all right in a long sentence the first part of my sentence is the if clause all right if i found the money comma the second part of my sentence i would buy a house i'm using would I plus would plus the base form of the verb buy and then the complement, all right? Or someone said, if I found the money, I would return it, all right? Do you notice the structure? On the if clause, we have if plus subject, okay, plus simple past of whatever, found, made, I don't know, whatever you want to say, if I made, I don't know. If I built a house, I would, I don't know, have my family live with me, all right? So whatever verb you're using has to be in the simple past. Then you have to have a comma, that's your punctuation, and then you go on with the second part of your sentence, which is subject plus would, could, or might, all right, depending what you wanna say, plus the base form of the verb, and then the rest of your sentence, okay? And that makes unreal situations for the second conditional, all right? I'm gonna show you the PowerPoint presentation so you guys can see it. Do you have any questions right now? Do you guys have any questions? The structure, yes, Hector. Um, on the if clause, Hector, you need if, plus subject, plus simple past, all right, comma, I mean, the sub, I mean, the simple past and the complement, comma, and then you have subject, plus would, could, or might, plus the base, the base form of the verb, and then the complement. All right, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show it to you right now, Hector. Don't worry about it. We're gonna see it right now. But thank you. Anybody else? Do you does anybody else have a question? No questions so far. No. All right. No. Are we gonna find the money? We don't know. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Let me show you this one here. All right. This is what we're talking about here, guys. Okay. We are talking about. Oops. Oops. Sorry, we're talking about unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Look at this um, guy. What is he thinking? What is he saying? If I buy a car. If I yeah. have money. If I had the money, what would he do? I would buy, I would buy, buy a new car. car. Yes, I would buy a new car. Does he have the money? Oh. No. No. No, no right? That is why it's called unreal situations because it's not possible it's all right just a dream. it's just a dream Anna gloria <laughs> it's just on your imagination introduction someone to read this for me who wants to read it the present unreal conditional is used to refer to unreal imaginary or impossible conditions mm. and the results very good thank it's you all right dream. so uh -huh. it's not happening all right very good second conditional here, guys, I want you to remember something. Unreal conditional and second conditional is the same. All right? It's the same name. It's the same structure. Some people call it unreal because it, it talks about imaginary situations. Or some people call it second conditional, but it's the same thing. All right? Someone else to read this information for me here, please. 
Only one. We use the second conditional to talk about a hypothetical or imaginary situation in the present or in the future and its consequence compare. All right. If okay. I have time. Uh -huh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's okay. I don't got it. That's fine. If I, if I have time, I will help you. If I have time, I I help you. The second example shows an imaginary situation. I don't and I won't have time. Excellent. Thank you, Ana Gloria. Okay, so here, second conditional or unreal conditional or unreal situations talks about a hypothetical or imaginary situation in the present or in the future and its consequence, okay? Look at number one. If I have time, I will help you. All right. In number one, will I have time? No. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yes. Probably I will have time. Yes. But on the second one, if I had time, I would help you. Do I have time on the second one? No. No. All right. No. I don't have time and I won't have time. So that makes it an imaginary situation. It's from past to present. That's right, very good, all right? If I had time. Now, por eso les decía que the second conditional or the unreal conditional or the unreal situations, it is made out of if plus subject plus simple past plus the complement the comma and then the subject would could or might the verb on the base form and then the rest of your sentence all right esta estructura acá es voy fer esta estructura de acá es lo que lo hace an imaginary situation an unreal situation si usted le cambia el tiempo a este verbo que está acá ya no se vuelve unreal se vuelve real maybe we have Yes, it is fair. Very good. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, very good. All right, do you guys have any questions? I need you to ask me, okay? Si tiene duda, por favor pregunte, porque lo que quiero acá es que le quede claro que estamos, de qué estamos hablando acá. Questions? No questions. Les paso un examen y sacan 20. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah. Yeah. Excellent, Ana Gloria. Okay, good. No questions? Okay, voy a, voy a seguir. I will continue. If you have questions, you ask me, okay? I'm going to do All right, let's see. Second conditional, all right? Second conditional sentences, que es la misma and real conditional. No voy a decir, uy, ese no lo he visto, es el mismo. A second conditional sentences are formed as follows. Past simple. Ahorita nos vamos a concentrar en el past simple. If, perdón, if plus past simple, would, could, or might, and then the rest of your sentence, okay? Podemos jugar con esto, depending on what you really want to say. Usually, ojo, usually we're all, we're, most of the time we use would, but you can use could or you can use might, all right? But the one that we use the most is would, okay? okay. Let's continue here. Unreal conditional. Ya ve que le dije second conditional, real conditional is the same thing. If plus the verb in the past, si usted lo cambia, if you change this to present, it's not unreal anymore. All right, so these, these guys right here, this right here is super important, okay? If plus verb in the past, and then the rest of it, comma, the auxiliary, and the verb in infinitive that makes unreal situations. If I had time, I would help you. If I lived in a palace, I would give parties all the time. But I don't live in a palace. This is just, I'm imagining, I'm daydreaming, all right? This is not going to happen. Mary would, whoops, Mary would move to Japan if she spoke Japanese, does Mary speak <laughs> Japanese? No. No. Is she going to move to Japan? No. 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 Yeah, she's just daydreaming, you know. I'm saying Mary would move to Japan if she spoke Japanese, but she doesn't speak Japanese, so she's not going to move. All right? Very good. You sure? So, I yes. have one question. Yes, tell me. 
I I saw that we have the we could use the past continuous. We, yes. Could you give me an example? Um, Alex, I will give it to you tomorrow because I don't want to confuse you with that today. Oh, okay. I think Thank you, you promise. Sir. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Right Thanks. now, yeah, Alex, right now, let's, we're going to concentrate on this one so we can like understand the better because this is the okay. one, Alex, that is on the platform. Okay. If I go to the other one today, you're going to get a little bit confused. Okay. But don't worry. Okay. I will. Okay. Thank you, Alex. Thanks. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue here. Second conditional or unreal conditional or imaginary situations is the same thing. Things to consider, you have to remember this, number one. With the verb be or with the verb to be, you can say, if I were the president, I would reduce the taxes. Or you can say, if I was the president, I would reduce the taxes. ¿Cuál usamos más? Créame, believe it or not, we use this one more. All right? So, if this is the only case that you're actually going to use were with I, he, she, and it. All right? So, I say if, for example, if I were you, I don't say if I was you. So, oye raro. El where is the best choice to go with, okay? And this is like one of the biggest exceptions in English, all right? Because remember that I, I will always conjugate it with was, except for these unreal situations, all right? If Sahira were the president, if Anna were my mother, if Hector were, uh, I don't know, my teacher, all right? So this is correct, guys. To use this is correct and it's acceptable, okay? All right, second conditionals, however, when we give advice, mire, siempre, siempre que vaya a usar el second conditional para dar advice, all right, siempre va a usar where, not was. Aquí se vale, all right? You, oh, sorry, I don't understand. I have a question. I know, okay, you say, aha, uh -huh, tell me. <laughs> I'm fighting by myself, dígame, tell me. For I and he and she is where? That's right. Always. Yes, Ahira. Yes, Ahira. For the second conditional, yes. All right, very good. Even more, Sahira, when you're giving advice. Usted le dice, si yo fuera vos, si yo fuera, si yo estuviera en tu lugar, all right, if I were you, siempre vos are where, if I were you, all right, I would be more careful. Now, something else that is very important that you can do, guys, is this one. The main clause and the if clause can go in either order. Veamos este aquí. If I were you. Esto se llama if clause. Y esto de aquí, de la coma para allá, se llama main clause. Okay? I think you shared a, a sentences before. Right. I, I, the, the, the last chart had, had one sentence about this, this change. No, Which, the, 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 the previous one? This one? Mary will move to Japan if she spoke Yeah, Japanese. yeah, right, yeah, very good. Thank you, very, very good, yes. Okay, and you paid attention, very good. So here, guys, yeah. the main clause and the if clause can go in either order. If I went to New York, I would go to Broadway, or I would go to Broadway if I went to New York. You're saying exactly the same thing. But there is a change between these two. Búsqueme la diferencia entre esas dos oraciones, aparte de lo que ya les dije. Coma. La coma. Yeah, very the coma. good. Yeah, guys. Very good. When you switch it, when the main clause goes at the beginning and the if clause goes at the end, no coma is needed because the if is making or is taking the place of the coma. All right? Do you understand that? Si en la plataforma yes. lo pone al revés, digamos al revés, y le pone coma acá, se lo va a tomar malo forever. Because you don't need a coma there. All right? So, uh, which one is, like, correct? Both. Both sentences are correct. All right? You can either say, if I went to New York, I would go to Broadway, or I would go to Broadway if I went to New York, and it's okay. All right? No changing meaning whatsoever. Examples. A ver, who wants to read these ones for me? 
Okay. If I have more money, I would buy a bigger house. Uh -huh. Go on. If my thing, if my thing okay. go on the cup, I will buy champagne for everybody. Excellent. Oh, someone else, thank you. Uh -huh. If I if was I, working uh -huh. in London, I I take a, a tube. The tube every day. Sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and someone else to read that one, the last one? I spoke to him directly. I might be able to convince him. Thank you. All right, Alex, can you see sentence number three, Alex? Yes, sure. That's Excellent. For That's the example. Team. That's right. All right. If I was working in London, I would take the tube every day. We have see? to use verb to be in past. That's right. Yes, the verb to be in past and the ing. All right. But Alex, uh, the one that is more commonly used is the simple past one. Yes, Fernando. Okay. I have a question about that that sentence. Uh -huh. I remember you told us, and I I I listen strange. Uh, uh -huh. If how about if I were working? You could you could you could also switch it to that one, but um, usually be, in the other one, fair this one here is because this one you're just using it by by itself. But in this case, because you're actually using the past continuous, you follow the rule as you know it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Very good. All right. Now, guys, um, I want you to take a picture of, of this, please. Can you take a picture of that? All right. Finished? Yeah. Okay. And I will share something else with you here. Don't go, don't go, don't go. All right. Do you guys have any questions while I fix this? Do you have any questions or you're okay? You guys are okay? All right. Thank you. Just give me one quick second, guys, here. I just need to fix these sentences for you because I want you to work on these sentences. All right. Here we go. I'm just going to make them bigger so you guys can see it better. All right, so this one right here, I also want you to take a picture of it right now. <clears throat> Hold on. Um, it's a second condition on exercises, all right? Can you take a picture from one to nine and then one more from like, because there are 10 sentences. I'm gonna move it so you can take the last one. No, okay. No. Finished? Yeah, I can. can you I see can it? it? Yes. Which one you didn't take? This is not this is the the second picture. This one. Okay, yeah. The, okay, the last one. It. And then the very last one is only one more sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what are you going to do? You're going to go to your groups and you're going to um, make the sentences like unreal sentences. All right. So remember the structure. You need a simple past and then you can use would, could, or might. Right, right now you may just use would if you want to or could. All right. But follow the structure. All right. So I'm going to send you right now to your um breakout room so you can work together in case you have questions please ask me okay there we go
Are you there? Are you there, Aide? Aide? I have yes. Hi. Oh, Aide is here. All right, very good. I thought you were by yourself, but now you Thank have, you, yeah, Aide is with you. Okay. Thank you.
Hi, Jenny. Um, I return to the May session because Mariela uh, doesn't work the microphone. Oh, all right. Do you want me to send you to another group, Jenny? Yeah, please. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll send it. I'll send you right now. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you get the invitation, Jenny? No, I did. Mm. Let me move you again then. Can you see now? No. <laughs> That's weird. What about now? Nothing? No, nothing. Oh no, I don't know, Jenny. <laughs> um, is it difficult for you to get out of the session and come back in? Sometimes that works. Uh, leave the meeting? Uh-huh. And can yeah. you come back in? All right. Let's try that, Jenny. Okay. What about now, what about now, Jenny? Yes, I can now. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Mariela. Hi, Karen. Can you hear me, Karen?
All right, Sahida, Ana, Karen, Jennifer, were you able to finish? Yes? Yes. Yes, All right, very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, we can check this right now. What about this one right here? If you have, if you what? If you had three months to travel, where would you go? Uh huh. Someone else continue. Letter B. Oh, that's easy. I will fly to Europe. I've, I've always wanted to go there. I've always wanted to go there. Very good. Someone else to do letter A. If the doctor told you to get more exercise, which sport would you choose? Excellent. Letter B, someone else? I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure, but I continue. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure, but I will go join two or three times a week. Excellent. Very good. All right, let me uh, share this one with you here. All right, number one, if? If I wear, I I wear, wear you? Home. I what? I would get a new job. Excellent, if I were you, I would get a new job. Number two? If he were younger, he could travel more. Excellent, very good, number three? I think the letter, the number three, if we were wearing friends, I were angry with you. All right. <laughs> I would be angry with you. I would oh, be angry with I you. I would be. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, very good. The, the first, you know, the first part, yes, if we weren't friends. All right. Number four. I will be. I will. Be I would angry. be. I would be. Uh -huh. Angry with you. That's okay. right. Yes, Anna. Very good. Number four. If I had if enough I had money. I could buy a big house. All right, oops, that was number five was here, I'm sorry. All right, who can do number five? If she, she wouldn't, wouldn't always so late. Uh -huh. she, if she weren't always so late? She will be promoted. She could be promoted or she would be promoted. Very good, Javier, number six, Javier. If we won a lottery, mm -hmm. We will travel the world. Excellent. Number, oops, number seven again. Who wants to do number seven? Claudita, tiene cara de querer hacer la número siete. <laughs> number seven. Yes, please, Claudia. If you, if you had a better job, we could be able to buy a new car. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. All right. Who wants to do number eight? Let me see here. Ana Gloria, you can do number eight for us. Ana Gloria, your microphone, honey. <laughs> it's for if you your attention. If we won, won the lottery. No, number eight. number eight. Yeah, I, I I remember. If I spoke English, perfect English, I could ha uh, have a good job. I could have a new uh, a good job. Very good. Number nine. Who's gonna do number nine for me? Jose Mariano. I didn't do it. The number nine. Ah, what happened, Jose? <laughs> <laughs> I was working in the platform with my mates. Oh my goodness, all right, okay, but you can do it right now. It's not that difficult. Let me check. If we what? Uh, the verb is leave. No, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. All right, if we lived in Mexico? I, yeah, I would speak Spanish. Very good. And the last one, guys. If she passed the exam, 
she will be able to enter university. Excellent. All right. Very good. All right, guys. So we're going to stop right here because there's another class coming in. So thank you so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow. If nothing happens, we see you tomorrow with normal classes, okay? Thanks, so thank yeah. you very okay. much and be safe, okay? okay. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Don't forget to work on the platform. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.